Today is day six of me dashing for 30 days straight to help raise money for breast cancer awareness. And we started off pretty bad. Our first hour, we only made $17. So yeah, not the best. But we do have our next order. It's a pretty good one to Firehouse Subs, 550 for like a mile and a half. And I feel like today is going to be probably one of our worst days as it pertains to hourly wage because I'm gonna try and accept most orders my acceptance rate is down to like 56% and I want to get that up to 70% so I can be a top dasher next month and we're coming up on the end of September so I'm gonna be accepting most orders and also it's Tuesday so one of the worst days of the week but it's all good we're gonna power through it we got this next order to firehouse subs let's go get it done Is there an order, for, uh, or is there someone with the name of Amy who lives here that may have ordered this? No? Okay. Uh, I'm just having a hard time finding the correct address, and this is where the maps took me, so. What's the address? Um, let me see. So we've run into a slight problem. This address does not exist. I don't know where it is, and the customer won't respond. So I think I'm gonna contact DoorDash Maybe I'm in for some free cookies. I don't know. Let's let's see what we can do. So finally got it figured out. I just had to leave the order in a lawn somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird, but but we got it done. In the first two hours, we made just over $40. So not too bad, but not the best either. $20 an hour. But I'm taking a break right now. I gotta go to the gym and then get a little bit of YouTube work done. And then we're going back at it for a little bit longer of a shift and we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys then. All right guys, we're back from the break. We had a great workout and we ate some great food. And now we're back at it with our first order to KFC. If I, I literally can't remember it. And I just barely picked it up. I think it was 750 for like six and a half miles or something like that but it'll be on the screen for you guys. We also got some snacks, got some Chex Mix, got some like dried fruit and nuts and whatnot. And we got half of this Gatorade left. So, so we're going for all the dinner shift into the late night shift. Hopefully we can start making some great money today, even though it's Tuesday. So you never know, Tuesdays are rough. But we just picked up the KFC order. Let's go ahead and have a great dinner shift. Next order, we got this one to Black Bear Diner. It's $8.50 for a little bit over six miles. I'm hoping things pick up because we've honestly gotten thrown so many bad orders. Like I'm talking 350 for 14 mile type orders. And so hopefully things start getting better. We start getting sent some better orders. Otherwise this Tuesday might end up being a complete bust. guys we have had a really rough first hour back only made $16 that's Tuesday for you <laughs> holy crap I am really hoping things pick up here because we are just not doing so good at all for the entire day in three hours we've only made $56 that's not the best so we got to get going this traffic is really not helping me make more money I mean, it's a Tuesday. I think there might be an accident up here or something, but the traffic right here is just absolutely absurd tonight. 
definitely cutting into our pay. And we don't even have an order right now that we're heading to. We're literally just out here trying to find an order. That's how slow it is right now. Yeah, so it looks like something went down over here. Yeah, that's, that's not looking too good. So if you're dashing at 6.30 in the evening and you're like me, you're stuck in traffic, it's just dead gridlock. You have a minute or two to get on your phone. You might as well download the Solo app because then when you sign up and you link one of your accounts, you're at least going to be paid $10 to sit in traffic. So you get the $10 sign on bonus while you're waiting in traffic anyway, and you can check out all the cool features they have on the app as well. So I mean, it's really the only way to win from a traffic scenario, you might as well do it. So unfortunately it took 20 minutes to get our next order. Luckily it's a really great one to Cubbies. It's for $9 plus for only like four miles. And I just picked it up and I had to wait 15 minutes for it. So I'm hoping for a big payout for this order. Otherwise, man, this is just one thing after another tonight. Oh well, let's go see how much this order's worth. All right, so things have obviously been going pretty bad, but we may have just had a turning point because we just got two great orders, one to Waffle Love, 650 for two miles, but it's 650 plus, so again, the total is going to be higher than that. And then we also got stacked on top of it an order to Rancheritos for $6 for only one mile, and that, again, is an order that says total will be higher. So two great orders. I'm hoping this is the turning point, and we can start making some great money. Let's get going. So I wish I could say that things turned around, but they really didn't. We've only made $52.50 since we've been back in the three hours we've gone. And in total so far for the day, that means we've only made $92 and like 62 cents or something like that, but not so good. We got our next order to Aubergine Kitchen. It's a decent order, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be going out because honestly, it just doesn't seem worth it when I could make up these hours on the weekend and actually make good money. So we'll see what happens. So in total for the day, we ended up making $113.65 and that was in six hours. So not a very good hourly rate. That's about $18 and what, like 85 cents or something like that, roughly $19 an hour today. We got a lot of ground to make up. Remember the goal is to make $5,000 during this challenge. Luckily we have the weekend coming up in a couple days where I'm gonna go out for way longer shifts than I have been and hopefully we can make up a lot of the money that we need to make. And also our goal is to donate $1,000 to breast cancer awareness. There are a bunch of different ways to donate. You can donate any of your hard earned money if you want to, or if you subscribe, I'm donating $1 for every every five subscribers I get, or you can hop over and grab some more fit clothing. 20% of all profits go directly to breast cancer awareness. And if you buy the breast cancer awareness special edition hoodie, then 50% of the profits that come from that specific hoodie go to breast cancer awareness. So anyways, there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.